Um, you know what, Al? We've actually kind of... I feel like they're all okay at the minute because I watched them against West Ham and they were paying average in the first half. We know that. But second half, I actually thought they played really well. Um, you know, we, we, we've snuck back into the top four and I kind of feel like maybe we are where we're meant to be at the moment. And, you know, I'm very quick to jump on the bandwagon of digging out people and I think sometimes I take it a bit far. But actually... You know, we're doing okay. Conte's had, you know, some big problems this year. Uh, people he's lost in his life. He's he's obviously had surgery as well. And he's feeling a bit out under the weather. And the team's kind of carrying itself. And, yeah, I'd like to see more. I really would. And I think, do we, you know, we want to try and crack on, get near Arsenal. But Arsenal have just been unbelievable this season. They've got, And that's kind of put us under a lot more scrutiny. But I, I, I'd, I'd go into this game against Chelsea, Al. I fancy us. I, I, I think we'll turn over. Yeah, I, think, I think you've got enough for Milan. Don't you think? The second yes. Race? Yeah. I, I thought, thought they was pretty average. They were bang average. Yeah, right. let's well, be honest, I mean, apart from Napoli, I think Italian football is average. Um, but I think Chelsea, Al, I think, I think, we, I think we're going to cause them a big problem. But their record against Spurs, as you no, know, I is know, very good. No, I know that. But look, they got, you know, Graham Potter's having a beast at the minute. He's having a nightmare. And I, I think they're there for the taking. And I think if we go at them, go after them in the first half and plan a, a high tempo, I, I think we turn them over. Oh, who's the midfield going to be? Because Bentecourt's out, isn't he? He's a big loss. He's out, but by the way, he's ACL, isn't yeah, he? He's so out yeah, for, he's out for, for nine long, months. Long. That's a massive loss So Hoiberg will play, obviously. Be Hoiberg, Will it be Skip? Skip? Or Saar. Saar and would look all right. He looks all right against Milan. You know what? Like When I saw that midfield, I thought Skip and Saar, I thought this is going to be a long night. Oh, yeah. You know, it's going to hey, be that, playing. They played well. They were actually excellent and fair play to them. And, you know, it, it's, it's good to see some young talent come through. Actually, you can hold their own in midfield for Spurs. I tell you as well, Emerson Royale. Yeah. He's all well. of a sudden, he, he, he's had a kick up the backside that he needs and he looks like a, a decent player. You know, Pedro Porro's come in and, and he's gone, right, I need to actually step up here and play some decent football. And he looks all right again. So, look, I fancy us. I really do. I don't think... I think Chelsea are fragile at the minute. You know, that I think Graham Potter's under um, scrutiny now. I think he's under a bit of a bit of pressure to get some results. And I, I, I really fancy Spurs. I hope I don't eat my words. What were the well, what, what were you doing? All, all I say, though, what a, what a result. If Chelsea did beat Spurs, that's not a bad start for him, is it, Graham Potter? Winning games because you know it would that, sum it up. The, it? the hatred in football, the Chelsea and uh, oh. uh, Spurs. We all go back to when they was going to win the league. Uh, and they what was it? Uh, Stanford Bridge, wasn't it? Hazard scored that goal. Yeah, it was the Leicester battle of the bridge, it, wasn't when it? Leicester won it. Yeah, look, there is there is something there. It's become you know like a, a horrible fixture, and um, you know we obviously Spurs fans want to win this game. I just think Grand Potter's under do huge pressure. Do you think a big top four? I, do you think he gets the sack? Two wins and fourteen. That's his record. If he get, right, so here's a question, right? If he if if Spurs beat them at the weekend, and then he gets knocked out of the Champions League, <laughs> surely Graham Potter's got to come under pressure. Oh, well, he's under pressure now, but well, that's get, what I mean. But people saying, "Oh, slack, Jamie, give I'll get out slack. of here, Al." Give him some slack. The problem is, if you buy it, you sitting on the fence as usual. No, how are you doing it's like Ali your, McCoy's. How are you doing with your pitch for drive? You got the gig yet? Because they tell me you're after that that four to seven shot. I'm after your your gig, mate. That's what I'm after. Yeah. You're, you're on your yeah. last legs. Why, is, been... is a bus going to run over me? <laughs> I'm told four to seven. You want a bit of drive, don't you? Yeah. That's out of order. I swear, to That's be fair, absolutely one not of my true. mates. One of my mates is under bang pressure. Sandridge Rovers. I don't know where they are, but he's under massive pressure. Yeah. And he could get the sack tomorrow. Right. If they don't get a result, Jamie, you're, you're nailed on for I'm in for a, I'm in for a job. You're in for that With Sandy job. Rowe. <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen, don't you underestimate my managerial skills. Ray, you saw me at Billerick. No, he's you got good. you the sack. No, he, he did get me the sack. He got you the sack. Brazil, he got me the sack. He told me. He come down and watched me and I could see him getting into the, the chairman's All, I, all I said, they weren't that mobile in midfield. No, you Billy said Ricky. that big lump in midfield was Jamie's man. <laughs> he said he couldn't walk. He looked like Roland Browning out of Spain Jill. Oh God, he was a good player though. He was yeah, alright. He was when he got couldn't the ball. run, couldn't run. Yeah, so it was FIFA, he was good at FIFA. Right, I think Ray he? was trying to get himself in there. I think no, he wanted a little he? job, but you no, know, no, he's no. one of them. I know the owner very well, and he's uh, look, they're struggling oh, a little see, bit he's now. He's dug himself up now, isn't he? Yeah, no, no, you're gay. You said to me he's out. He's out. I went. I don't no say chance. that. Yeah. No. Talk Sport Breakfast with Alan Brazil. Thursday and Friday morning, 6 till 10. On AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app, and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.